Etienne backs Nicolas Mousset. They have gone right to the left hand side of the gates. And there we are, Etienne backs local man Nicolas Mousset, the Frenchman. World Championship pairing of 2017. Next to Marvin van Lukener and Robbie Bax. Marvin van Lukener just saying who his prayers. And uh, Gert van Verven, Ben van den Boga, Uni in Belgium, Andre Chermak, the red plate holders by one point. Kuhn Hermans, Glenn Janssen's final stretches then for Kuhn Hermans. And uh, they have shown such promising pace all throughout this 2021 season, just have not quite had the look that they need. Here we go then, all eyes towards the gates, and away we go for the first race of three here this weekend in Oz. Who will get the best start? Kuhn Hermans, Glenn Janssen's, can they go around the outside? Oh, look at this. That's Marvin Van Lukener and Robbie Bax trying to stick it up the inside of the number three crew. All oh, behind the trees. Everybody moves to the other side of the circuit. Who is out in front? It is Marvin Van Lukener and Robbie Bax. Then it's the 723. Wow, the 723 is Jason Van Dahl and Nicky De Bruyne up into third place. Fantastic stuff from Jason and Nicky there. Marvin Van Lukener and Robbie Bax drop down into that difficult right hand bowl almost corner. Etienne Bax and Nicholas Mousset trying to make a move up the inside. They're so, so close. Look how deep the ropes are as well. They're almost side by side across the pit straight into the right hander. Etienne Bax is right there in the rear wheel of Marvin Van Lukener and Robbie Bax. Over the jump now. Kuhn Hermans and Glenn Janssen's losing just a little bit of time on this lap, the second lap. Etienne Bax, Nicolas Mousset charging hard after them in second place. Do they look to the inside? Do they have more pace? A two minute 27 was the lap time set in the free practice session earlier, but Marvin Van Lukener with a two minute 30 in the timed qualifying, that is where it counted. And uh, Etienne Bax did a two minute 32. So these two guys really do have the pace with them. Here they go then. Oh, there's a change for the lead. Etienne Bax and Nicolas Mousset take the lead then. Etienne Bax and Nicolas Mousset, this will close up the championship even more between themselves and Marvin Van Luken and Robbie Bax. First, second, third, Kuhn Hermans and Glenn Janssens, they are not out of it. They are still right there in touching distance. <laughs> what a fantastic race already. And we still have 22 minutes remaining. Varek and Kuhn are still there in fourth place. Good stuff from the Estonian and the Finn. Van Verven, Van den Bogart, the Dutch pairing in fifth in their home GP. They're right there, and the gap is four seconds. And <laughs> look at this. Marvin Van Lukener and Bax. Bax and Musse will be level on points going into tomorrow's action. Wow, you could not write the script. There is Julian Veldman and Andre Chermak currently on 210 as it stands. Of course, these points will chop and change as positions are chopped and changed. But uh, at the moment, Van Lukener and Bax, Bax and Mousset will be level pegging if it finishes like this. Gert van Verven, Ben van der Boga, there they are. I do hope they have not been off because Gert van Verven with that uh, broken collarbone, which has only just been plated a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yellow flags being shown in this section as well. Can't quite see the reasoning behind the yellow flags, but Julian Velben, Andre Chermak doing a good job there. The gap between themselves and Kurt Varick, Larry Kunas is around 12 seconds, I believe. That's Kurt Varick and Larry Kunas. Kurt Varick and Larry Kunas out of fourth place. More points towards Julian Velvin and Andre Chermak. So right as I was saying that Julian Velvin and Andre Chermak, fifth place was the best they can do. But fourth place now given to them for, to Kurt Varick and Larry Kunas, Julian Velvin and Andre Chermak. What will this do to the championship? Well, I can tell you that it will close it up even more. Look at this, three crews, just when we thought it couldn't get any closer, three points, 217, 217, 214. Once they got in front, Van Lukener and Bax, they looked as though they had the pace, but in the end, Bax and Mousset just proved too much of a force to be reckoned with. There we go, fantastic stuff then from Bax and Mousset. First blood goes to them. And that will put them on 217 points. Marvin Van Lukener and Robbie Bax over the top, second place, 32 seconds behind Bax and Mousset in the end. For Kuhn Hermans, Glenn Janssens, that will put them ahead of Kurt Varick and Larry Kunas in the battle for fourth place in the championship standing going into tomorrow, just nine points.
Look at that, 217 points for both Van Lukena and Etienne Bax with Julian Veldman on 214. Kuhn Hermans, Glenn Janssen's now in fourth place in the championship ahead of Kurt Varick, Larry Kunas. Daniel Willemsen still holds on to sixth place, but of course will not score any more points this season. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy because in the training uh, the feeling was bad. So now uh, the start was good and uh, now we start from zero again. And uh, uh, after a few laps, there was a big stone uh, between the front wheel. So we, yeah, there was a gap uh, between uh, Marvin uh, and, and us. Uh, then we, then we, we ride for third place, but still good. Yeah, like you say, it was very tough, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, we are not, oh, I am not so good in sand, so I'm very happy with the second place, and uh, yeah, we are still running for the title, and that's most important. Of course, uh, but you were fast off the gate, ha had the first position. How did Etienne manage to get past you? Yeah, he came uh, in the right corner, he came, he came inside, and uh, yeah, he was faster, but yeah, Tomorrow another day, another chance, and uh, yeah, we will still fighting uh, for the title for sure. Yeah, well, I, I told already before that I'm, I'm, uh, I have no stress. I don't know why, but uh, I just feel good. You know, we feel good on this track, and uh, <coughs> we could win. Uh, we did not have the best start, I must say, but um, yeah, we could win the race. And uh, you know how exciting this will be. You know, I don't know what the points are now, but it must be in one or two points now. Now you're tied with Van Luchene, and Julian is by two points maybe different from you guys so so it will be an exciting day tomorrow